Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to turn yourself into Bumblebee from Transformers. So if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So to start off, I just took some yellow body paint and I started outlining where exactly I was going to put his helmet as well as the different parts of his body armor. You don't have to do this part, but I found it was easier to kind of have everything drawn out in my head if I had everything kind of pre-outlined. And another tip that I have is to definitely look at a picture to get an idea of what you want to go for. I was looking at a couple different pictures, uh, both of the cartoon and the CGI version. So I kind of took a little bit of some influence from one and the other to kind of come up with my version of Bumblebee. So you guys can do that as well. It's makeup. It's there for, you know, creativity and fun. So. <laughs> and then once you've got your outline, you can start coloring in the parts that you want yellow. I just decided to do this first because for me, if you do the lighter colors first, it makes things a lot easier when it comes to shading and putting in other colors as well. And then once you do that, you can start doing the black parts, basically any shading that you want, any um, harsher like details like around his nose and things like that that you see in the different pictures from wherever you might get your inspiration from. And then again, he is a robot, so you want to try to get everything as symmetrical as you can. But you know, we are human, so if you don't get it perfectly symmetrical, that's okay. Just try your best. And just for a little heads up as to why you're listening to this music in the background, the reason I did that was because Bumblebee is, to me, extreme, the most, like, not flamboyant, but the most out there of the robots. Basically the most, like, a teenager, like, the most fun, if that makes any sense. So that's why I picked this music as opposed to anything else. Like, for Optimus Prime, I probably would have picked something from Beethoven. <laughs> and then once you're done doing kind of the body part things, you can also do a little bit of shading for the gray parts of your armor and outlining the red parts, or the yellow parts. I don't know my colors. <laughs> And then what you can do is you can use some brown body paint to just draw in your eye holes. And then for the mask to do some shading, I also use a little bit of yellow body paint uh, mixed with brown. And so that you don't have that harsh line, one thing that I figured out, instead of using eyeshadow trying to blend it out, you can actually get your finger a little bit wet to basically reactivate the body paints and you can just blend it in that way. I felt like a boss when I figured that out. <laughs> And then use some gray body paint to fill in the other parts of his armor.
I do have to say, drawing the little Transformers logo was my absolute favorite part of this tutorial. I don't know why, it was just so much fun. I don't know, I'm crazy. I know. <laughs> And then what you can also do is draw on any like um, extra shapes that you want to make him look a little more, more robotic. Outline anything that you feel needs to be outlined right before you do some shading. And then for the little mouse thing that I drew, I just filled it in with yellow and then started the fun part, the shading. So with the shading, you can just use a metallic or silver eyeshadow to highlight anything that you want to stand out more to give you more of a metallic or body feel. And I used some black eyeshadow to create more shadow and more depth where I wanted it. This was probably the simplest part because everything was already drawn in. I kind of had an idea where I wanted things to be a little bit deeper. So for this part, honestly, I would just go with your instincts. Whatever you think looks the best, go for it. And don't forget to shade some of the armor. And then once you do that, you guys are done. So I hope you guys like this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And leave me a comment down below to let me know what you would like to see next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!